Well, hello, friends. Coach Bob with you today. And today, we're going to be talking about geometry, a little geometry lesson. So, Coach Vic, do you like geometry? No, I don't. How did you do in geometry when you were in school? Not very good. I did better in algebra than geometry. Can you even, can you spell algebra? A-L-G-E-B-R-A. <laughs> Look at you. Coach Bob, can you, oh, here's a Riker. So can you get on that Riker, Coach Vic? No, I can't, and I tried. These legs are, look. I can't, I don't want to do it now on my shorts. My legs are just too short. You're too gonna, short. Look. I can't, <laughs> I can't get them up there. How'd you get so little? I'm only 5'2", but my legs are short, but. Somebody threw Coach Vic in the dryer. And, and I want to get on it, so Coach Bob has to put me on if I ever want to ride. So me being independent is not going to work. It's not going to happen can't be independent but he could put me on and off of it yep but I do want to ride it but I, I, I can't get on it like Sophie Morgan can she must be like 5'10 with long legs <laughs> I can't get on the Riker so I Coach tried. Vic who is this little person that's my opal we're going for a walk <laughs> Coach Bob is going to talk about what today geometry oh geometry riding geometry oh how you fit on it men yep. women and how you lean and you turn and how you can fit on it yep. and our neighbor just so BRP just so you know because we have this Riker here our neighbor across the street who just retired, he's gonna buy one because just because he's seen it here in our yard and Coach Bob's and Ryan it, we sold a Riker for you in less than a week. So there you go. Oh, trust me from my emails, we sold a lot more than one. <laughs> anyway, I know what you're saying. Coach Bob, yeah, it looks great and dark outside. It looks like it may rain. It may rain, but I want you to look at this though. Ooh, look at that yard. Oh, it is like carpet. That's wonderful, isn't it? Oh yeah, fresh cut, got the cross hatch going on. Okay, Coach Vic wanted me to get a picture of her walking down the road. Don't tip over the garbage cans here, Coach Vic. Oh. <laughs> she is something else. The storms are brewing, but we're gonna try to we're gonna try to press on. Hopefully the wind noise won't be too much. So one of the most asked questions about this machine is, you know, is a taller will a taller guy fit on it? I'm six foot two inches tall. I weigh 196 pounds right now because I've been losing some weight. And I have a 34 inch inseam. This machine is plenty large enough for me. Now, most people think in terms of, can I stretch my legs way out like this? I understand that that's Harley land and that's where people ride that ride Harleys. Most motorcycle riders don't ride like this. And, and quite honestly, it's not comfortable and it's not that controllable. It's nice to be able to stretch your legs every now and then, get you some highway bars to stretch your legs out. But most of my riding, I'm not even a big forward control guy like this. Now, I have the handlebars all the way forward and I have the pegs all the way forward. So if I'm riding, this is plenty, plenty stretched out for me. My, my elbows are locked um, if I'm sitting upright. If you're riding like this, or you're trying to lean back and hold your weight up, you're doing it wrong. Will this motorcycle hold a 200 plus, 250, 260 pound person? And will it perform well? Will it handle well? And is it big enough for a tall rider? It is big enough for a tall rider. It's deceiving because we're so used to seeing the enormity of the spider that we forget what it really is about. When I ride this, and I learned this, I'll show you this real quick. In last Saturday's video, I talked about how I wish this brake lever was adjustable. It is adjustable. When you lift this up to move this forward and backwards, you can pull it out and it rotates. So you can adjust it up and down. I wanted it flat and I'll show you why. Now I go about four fingers from the back. Yes, I'm way back here. So I will come back here. I'm just going to go like there. That's close enough to rock and roll. And then I'll flatten this out some. And you can see that looks like a traditional motorcycle. So when I ride, I want my legs at 90 degrees. I want to be here. Total control. I'll even bring the handlebars. Loosen up my GoPro mount so I can move the handlebars. It's very modular. Just flip this up, slide the bars back. That's how they adjust. I want to be here. I want control. Squeezing the machine with my knees, elbows out, feet at 90 degrees, 
and strength, able to move from side to side and to be able to control the motorcycle. It's very, very important to be able to control this thing if you're doing anything radical. Now, if I go on a ride, a long ride, hundreds of miles long, I will bring this up and I'll slide all the way forward. And it's not radical. I can, in fact, I brought the peg up a smidge too high. I want it down one notch. But it's easy, it's that easy to adjust. How you doing, man? How are we doing? Good, good. Can a larger person ride the Riker? Yes, you can ride it, you can ride it comfortably. So let's look at that compared to the spider geometry. Now I've had many people tell me that the spider is too compressed or too short or you don't have enough leg room. I have not found that to be the case for me. This, as you can see, is exactly where I put that one. Now, when I'm on the highway, I bought these foot pegs here, these highway pegs, and I'll put my legs out like that. But you can still see, I'm not way out here like this. I am completely comfortable like this. So when you start talking riding geometry, although the machines are vastly different in size, it's not that dramatic of a change with your riding geometry. If you're comfortable riding a Spider, you'll be comfortable riding a Riker. That's just the way it is. I didn't expect that. Now, as you can see, the rally's somewhat dirty. I've got to wash this thing. I haven't washed it from my fun in the sandbox day. Um, be sure to check that video out. It came out last Saturday where I actually put this thing through the test to show you what a rally will actually do. But I wanted to show you the geometry on this. The, the weight capacity on this, on this Riker is over 400 pounds. So a big person can ride this thing or you can ride two up or you can have luggage. Now, I just came home from swim practice and Johnny DeFox said he was gonna send me a couple of accessories. I have got so many accessories for this thing to put on. We're gonna be doing some installations. I wanna get this stuff put on tomorrow. Um, it'll probably make four or five videos and take me all day to, to assemble this thing to figure out what's what. But I am going to take this thing on just a day trip where I do somewhere between three and 500 miles, which I think is indicative of a normal touring day. Most people, most people are in that 300 range. I prefer the 500 plus range. Now, Coach Vic, she's more the 300 range, but she's willing to do whatever I ask when we go on a tour. So I know I've got a pillion seat for this with a backrest that she's gonna be able to ride on the back. That's gonna be very, very cool. We're gonna do that. Um, also, I've got a cooler for the back of it. I think there are some saddlebags for it. There's a Bluetooth sound system. There's all kinds of things that I'm gonna be doing unboxings, unveilings, and installations on, on this fine little Riker. And you're gonna be able to learn everything this has to offer. And I'm so excited about this because I'm learning. And y'all know, anybody who's been a, a viewer of this channel for a while, I'm a student of life. I love to learn. I'm super fired up. I am super fired up. So whether you're a tall person, short person, whether you weigh a buck 20 or 250, you're gonna be fine on this thing. Now that said, everyone has to come to their own conclusion of what is comfortable to them. What is comfortable to me may not be comfortable to you. I can tell you, after riding this, I know I can do a 500 mile day on this with relative ease. The biggest issue I think will be the range on the gas tank because I'm not sure exactly what the mileage is going to be at highway speeds because I've been, I've been ringing this little puppy out, man, pretty hard. So the gas mileage has been, you know, in the high 20s, but I've, I've been lighting it up. It, it has not been getting a break from me at all. So I'm curious to see what the mileage is gonna look like. We're gonna, we're gonna put that to the tests in the next few weeks. We're gonna be doing some side-by-side -side comparisons on cornering. We're gonna show you how this Riker performs and the turns. I'm gonna show you some riding techniques that I've been working on on the Riker that are mainly uh, I brought in from two-wheelers and track days, and it has made a huge difference on how stable the Riker feels and how I can wind my way through a turn and really, just gonna be quite honest with you, I rode with some friends of mine and uh, 
I've really had the opportunity to embarrass some of my two-wheeled friends. This thing, it will perform. The primary limit on any motorcycle is the person sitting in the seat. I'm not gonna tell you I'm a great rider, I'm not. But I'm always looking to learn. I'm always looking to improve and I'm always looking to be more safe. There you have it, just a quick Wednesday night video on the geometry, will you fit it? Yes, you should ride one though. You need to sit on one, you need to think about it, but don't be afraid of it. I'm not afraid of it anymore and I've come to the realization that this thing has a lot to offer, way more than I thought it was going to. All right, well there you have it. Another one in the book, so you, yes you, do me a favor, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself, you're building that body, and remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day, and I'll see you on the road real, real soon. In fact, we're gonna see you in this garage doing a lot of installations on this guy. You're gonna enjoy it.